<laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. Episode 42 of these hookers. 42. 42, 4, and 2. How did, how, uh, you can't even count Let's get the math right. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I think like after we passed 30, it was every every week we're like, well, I can't believe we've done this on <laughs> We freak out every time. But what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Don't Tell Mom podcast. Happy two two times Tuesday. 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 DTM. Yeah. Hashtag DTM two times Tuesday. Um, we've got a couple new additions. We got this new desk that you just got off Facebook for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> what's what? up? And at this desk, we got the best edition of all, and it's Rocky. Rocky. Can I say your last name? No. no. Okay, we're gonna beat that out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's Rocky. Dun, 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 dun. Like Madonna or Cher. Yeah. We know? have Just the uh, yeah the best boxer here in the world. He has been in several movies <laughs> no, and I put on a little weight. Hey, hey, wrong, no, I wrong Rocky. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Brittany were actually texting about you back and forth, and we kept spelling. Are you? It, I guess it just autocorrected to R O C K Y. Yeah. Yeah, that's and not the right way. Yeah. No. Then she sent it the right way. The third text. In, I was like, oh, that's why I was trying to. I was confused. I was like, <laughs> what? Rocky, what is this? I don't think Who that's the way you spell his name. I know him. What's up, Rocky? Oh my uh, gosh. Say hello to all, all of our friends out there in podcast Hey, land. hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, he's like, I don't know what we're going to do. I was Some like, we therapist. never know what we're going to do. This, we're just going to sit here and talk. This guy is a freaking legend, y'all. Y'all have probably heard us talk <laughs> oh about gosh. him several times. If you've been on my, um, if you follow me, the Southern Fried Maple Leafs, which you've you seen should, him, which you should. If you haven't, what are you doing? Um, yeah, you've seen this guy then. Oh, He's I think he was in one of the stories. Um, one of the, like, the first Don't Tell Mom stories. That's why I, when we were texting back and forth, I was like, hasn't he already been on? I call, I had to ask Rocky and say, have you been on the podcast? He was like, because no. Because no. it was so we just talk about ingrained so in my head, yeah, about how we showed up at the same party. It was that story. We can we can revisit that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was a long time ago. We talked about that. that was, yeah. yeah, one of the very first episodes. We, <laughs> we had a whole story party about Rocky. There's stories with Rocky and them. So um, we won't out you yet. Though. Yeah, We're before gonna... before we out you, um, what do you do? Who you, who are you? I see you've got on a uh, on a nice leather vest, and I yeah. heard like a loud noise when we were getting all set up. I was like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. So you you ride bikes? I do. I'm in a um, motorcycle club. It's a veterans motorcycle club. Yes. Oh, US, nice. U.S. Military Vets Motorcycle Club. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Respect. You want to see this? Respect. I'm looking at <laughs> Scrappy. Yeah. Scrappy, what's it say on the back? Can they see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. U.S. Yeah. Military Army. Uh, I love Vets. it. Army. ALMC Dang. Motorcycle yeah. Club. Yeah. I, I, no big deal. If I Are saw you, him on the yeah, on the streets, I would not try to get in a in a scrap with well, this guy. <laughs> it's, it's funny you say Bikers that. Bikers always look badass. <laughs> it's, it's, funny, it's funny you say that because I remember, you know, from years ago when you know you used to live in a uh, smaller apartment, uh -huh. and then I come into this neighborhood and on my street glide making noise <laughs> wearing my hut, and I see all the ladies out there locking the doors and running inside the house, hiding and the kids. Some lady threw her wheelchair and she's like, "I'm getting inside." <laughs> <laughs> hide your kids, hide yeah. your wives. Like that, right? <laughs> Plural, yeah. all of them. <laughs> um, that is awesome. That so yeah, you you just said a, a f operative word there, vet. Like so, yeah. I want to I want to dip into your vet. Yeah. He's a hero, yeah. baby. I dip into your head a, a little hero, bit. But yeah, I don't just hang out with anybody, Cullen. All right, right. Yeah, this like is, savage. Yeah. Yeah. I need heroes in my life. Yeah, that's who I strive to be around. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> that's why you hang out with me too, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> savage. <laughs> savage is right. All right, so, uh, yeah, Rocky has been in our lives for a very long time. I think what, what we counted the other day, I was at his you baby were, show. You were 15. I was 15, so I'm That's 33 so now. What yeah. is that, 20 years almost? <laughs> I can't get like, all I'll of us. carry the like, one. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming court thing. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> That's a long 18, yeah, 18 years. 18 Let's say 19 years. years. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, I actually introduced you to your baby mama, I think. Yeah, ex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I guess she still is baby mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my ex baby mom. Well, yeah, I guess she, she still, still is my baby, baby mom. mom. And, <laughs> and I remember and I was there when you had your first daughter, and then you had a little boy, and now you're about to have another baby girl. Yeah. I was so yeah. excited. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, no, I can't wait to see the little. Look, yeah. they're awesome. Like, you haven't you didn't even know mine was oh, here, did I you? I didn't even know. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's out here chilling. When dude. did she get here? The first few weeks is, is yeah. good, yeah. Awesome. Well, I say yeah. that now while she's being good. Right? Right. Um, 
look at this. I'm, I'm just doing a little business behind the scenes I here. Hate, I hate it when he does this. We, we've got a we've got another guest coming on that we're trying to line up here. Is that going to work? You think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, so <laughs> anyway, yeah, we we ended up. You're not going to ask me if it'll work. Well, I think, I think it will. <laughs> you could actually yeah. hang out if yeah. you wanted to and yeah. be part of the next podcast. I might do that. Two times. Yeah. Yeah. Two times Tuesday. Hey, two we times. were talking on the phone and he was like, uh, he was like, well, what are we going to talk about? I said, well, talk, talk about you. You know, I want to hear some stories. I know you've got some. Yeah. Lord knows I know you got some. So he says, well, shit, I might have to be on more than one. <laughs> that only run an cuss? hour. We could cuss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can cuss. On these, anything, anything Hell and yeah. everything Hell goes. yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like opening yeah. the gates or this like going to be a raunchy one, yeah. Getting the permission yeah. going on these bitches. I'm, I'm just going to get all buck wild in this bitch. <laughs> All right, y'all, calm down. <laughs> y'all are getting rowdy. We're oh seven minutes in, and yeah. y'all already uh, dropped them all. No. So, it's only been seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, so it's Can so I interesting. Do I need to take the label off? No. Oh, yeah, no brand deals. No free shout-outs here on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. They got to pay us for that No, crap. it's okay. You Black can... water. I, should, I got a Don't Tell Mom mug from last week still sitting oh, here. Put but it's, it's, it's got, here, it's got want, old, oh, no. stuff yeah, in it. old yeah, coffee. Know, right? We don't do dishes here. It's kind of like... You know, going over to your house parties at, uh, back in the day. Oh sometimes, God. you know, you'd go It'd in there and just be ramen. Rocky introduced me back. Okay, so let's just back up a little bit. Okay. So, um, first of all, I know Rocky through his brother, <laughs> which is a whole nother story. Uh-huh. But his brother basically <laughs> broke into the, my car for me. My keys got locked in my car. (laughs) Colin's locked out. (laughs) And this guy was like, hey, um, I can help you. I was at the Chick-fil-A off 280 in in, uh, Birmingham, if you're familiar with the area. And uh, I was like, I don't know who you are, but sure. Yeah. And... um, and he just just like Rocky they, he's a hero they just have this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. this automatic like trust friendly factor I guess yeah and so I trusted this guy never met broke, broke into my car in like two seconds and just came in like mic dropped them in my hand did you then, ever ask him like how did you know how to do that so yeah, fast he was like don't worry about it mic drop and then, <laughs> and then walked in and got a chicken sandwich or something and then he was like Later on, it was like, you want to go to my brother's party or something like this? We're getting ready to head over there. And I was like, sure, How old are I you guess. at the time, like 16 or 17? 17, 17, yeah, something that. like that. And um, I was hanging out with a buddy that actually knew him, too, at the Chick-fil-A. And um, then I was like, oh, my God, he just broke into my car, so I guess it's okay if I go over to this, ho- this dude's house, too. Let's go. Well, I walk in, and that's when, this is the story we've already kind of told, but that's when I walk into Rocky's house, and there's my sisters. What up? Sitting there already partying. Yeah. <laughs> Three sheets to the wind, yeah. baby. Yeah. What's up, Colin? Yeah. I was like, what? This is getting weirder and weirder. First, this <laughs> I think you were like, hey, aren't you supposed to be grounded? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, yeah, to you were totally right not now. supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah. I thought that this, I thought that I didn't even see you or know. Maybe I just forgot, but I would just remember, like, maybe it was later on in the night or something. And I didn't even know you were there. And I just remember looking over and seeing you in the in the front yard, the front yard, y'all, with your weenie out and your hands up, going, "No hands, no hands." I think that was like a, that was like a third time I've been over there. Oh, okay, <laughs> that was a different night. But, yeah, yeah. You did it a few times. I did. Yeah, that tree got ambushed. Do you remember that guy, White Bread? No. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking about? He tried to run. You were like, somebody was like, cops, cops are here. And so everybody just chilling. Like yeah. nobody moves or anything except for this one guy. And he just he takes off, off running. running. through the backyard. Yeah. The over backyard. The fence, into the highway. Yeah. Oh my God. I remember that. I was yeah. there. It turned out it was like one of his, one of your friends. It was the yeah. cop that showed up. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like he was drawing some attention to himself. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> that but I remember you, you brought him back. <laughs> you went over the fence or whatever. You got him and you like carried him on your shoulder back into the house. And like, threw him in the he closet. Had cut, he had cut himself jumping over the fence. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and, and so this is where this when you became a medic. No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't like where no. your passion came from. No. no. Okay, but you, you always had it in you though yeah. to help people. So he's injured himself at this party, jumping the fence, and I just know for certain that you put him in the closet. I don't remember that. Yeah, did, did he ever come out the closet? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. It's been a while. I don't know. White bread. <laughs> now it's cornbread. <laughs> I loved it. I loved going over to your house. We had so much fun. Well, it was like some fights over there. I was there about to say. This was always the, everybody was over there. That was his, like one one of his uh, interesting characteristics, Rocky's, is his... In, 
inab- his innate ability to help out others. And it was just always oh, I like, thought you were going to say to party. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> that too. But he was always like there if you needed him growing up. Like if yeah. we, there were so many times. I remember even He's after, there when you didn't need him. I remember yeah. one time he came and got my ass from doing something I wasn't supposed to do and took me home yeah. to my mom and turned me in. Yeah, I did. Turned me into the law. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I was so mad. You were like, yeah, get in the car. We're just going to go to my friend's house. And you sure enough, drives me right to mom's house. That was a Here's twenty dollar reward. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know about the reward. Mom didn't. Oh, put that I don't up buy there. that. I don't think she would put a reward on. She would No, twenty dollars would be keeper. Why'd you bring it home? I was just wondering. Where she was. No, I remember that same like time frame, right? Because like I kind of break up my friendship with you into like into eras. Yeah. You know, like there's different. There's this time frame. Well, I remember you had like this Pamela Anderson poster on the oh, wall. Oh yeah. And I remember, you know, like I can just close my eyes and visualize that little house in the little yard or whatever. Yeah. And it was at the very, at very end of a dead end street, mm-hmm. right? And it was walking distance to the liquor store. Yes. Yeah. And we would turn Into in. Into the church. <laughs> Into the church, yeah. So, the you know, church parking plenty, lot where everybody plenty parked. Plenty of parking, yeah. 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 And yeah. so, uh, but no, we would come and we would literally like turn onto that street and it was just one street all the way back and you're the last cars. one. And yeah. it was just lined up. I was like, man, your neighbors probably hated you. Yeah. Like, People and with all of us kids partying, you know, whatever, we're like parking in other people's driveway and stuff, you know, yeah. just arrogant. But we would turn, I would turn the corner and be everybody there, and you'd see people coming and going. Like there was a festival or something yeah. going on at your house, yeah. but or hey, some, a circus, yeah, it got, yeah, it got rowdy. Some, I mean, it was like the place to be on the weekend. Yeah, it was like, like, we're going to Rocky's. Do you remember when, you, when Rocky would freestyle rap and everybody I, at the house I never did like, oh. that. That was not. <laughs> yes, no, you did. No. And you would switch it because you're Puerto Rican. No, you would switch was, it to Spanish no, just to make it brother. rhyme yeah, good. I did. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I did that like, a couple times. Spit, yeah, he'd be spitting a rap just randomly yeah. and then he couldn't come up with a word that rhymed with that word in English. And he, so he just <laughs> switched the whole thing starts rapping in Spanish. Everybody would be like, oh, like the drop the beat, you know. Yeah. That was hey, fun, dude. We I remember, um, th- yeah, that's probably after a couple of those bullfrog drinks. Is that what you call what we call no, them? Bullfrog. Um, what was it? Ooh, sweet tart. Sweet tart. Yeah. Are good. yeah. Uh, yeah he he so introduced good. us to so many things. There I was, brought uh, some with me. <laughs> 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 sweet tart. Yo, I would totally have one. <laughs> it was, what was it like? Uh, it was the Kool Aid packet. Yeah. Green, green Kool Aid. No, or Mountain Dew. No, I'm not telling you the recipe. No, he never. I was gonna say he didn't tell you the recipe. You're just guessing. It was good. It was good. Like you just drank it straight up and then. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know what it was going on. Yeah. Um, but I remember you also had your that room was like all graffitied. Yeah, yeah. like it yeah. was. Uh, he, like Rocky's an artist, professional y'all. looking. Yeah, well, I had a, there was a couple people that came in there and painted too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But and it, was, it got and updated. And you just told everybody day. you did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, of course, yeah. I take the credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that fun, crazy. man. Those, those were good times. He had yeah. that little shed out in the back, and it was it turned into like the the pimp the pad. romper room. Yeah. 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 Go bump uglies in the shed. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be out there and be like, "Rocky, this is your house. You have a room here." <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> and it, I learned how to, or I learned. Yeah, I think I did learn about the sweet tart thing, but then I'll. Also learned that you can put, um, you can chop up hot dogs and put them in the macaroni and, the and macaroni cheese. macaroni and cheese. Oh my yeah. god, that owned me one yeah. night. I was like dumbfounded. What? What are you talking about? Macaroni and cheese, like when you like hot dogs, you just chop them up, put them in the macaroni and cheese. What? Just add it's just, a whole meal. Yeah, yeah. You just you get the protein. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were like stuffing the macaroni. <laughs> 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 no, it was like the. <laughs> I took it too far. <laughs> that right? would be a good episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just try Mac- recreate yeah. that dish. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the modern day beanie weenie or yeah. something. Like, yeah. but oh <laughs> my god, it's had the beanie. Yeah, <laughs> the weenie and the beanie. It, it owned me one night. When, weenie and a beanie. And when you needed when you needed something to eat on the quick on yeah. the yeah. Just oh my god, I was like, up, what yeah. is this? This is amazing. I also learned how to play spades like really good over there. You weren't ever that good. I was. Nobody wanted to part. <laughs> the white bread wasn't yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted to partner with you at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, we had fun. That was a good time. I want to know more about your like. Um, are there any stories that you could tell or don't mind telling about like your experience in the? Uh, Marine I was actually Army Army, Army, I'm sorry Yeah I was actually About to go there Because I was going to say That was like your party time In that house And then after that You like tightened up I remember you had 
Ashlyn. Ashlyn. You got y'all she's, got pregnant. She was born in 2003. I didn't get pregnant. Well, y'all <laughs> got pregnant. You did some of it. I mean, you did. You impregnated. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I remember when that happened. Was it was yeah. like a, a switch flip for you, and it wasn't party rocky anymore. It was down to business, serious rocky now. And you started training for the military. Yeah. And you would come and wake me up because I was you huge. Mother. I don't know if y'all remember. I had got. Yeah. I mean, I'm big now, but I, I had got oh, like yeah, over no. 300 gained, pounds at one point. Yeah, you, oh, you lost so much weight to try, get in. Yeah, yeah, to get in. Yeah, yeah. And he would come to my house at seven o'clock in the morning, like waking me up, and and like my doors are locked, and then I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna tell him I slept in, and I'd hear him outside knocking on the yeah. door, and I'm just like pretending like I'm not woke up, and just like, oh, he'll go away eventually, and then <laughs> and then like ten minutes would go by, no more knocking. I'm like, yes, he left. <sighs> And then here's Rocky gotcha. like over me, standing over, like he is, gotcha. he is broken into my home. He's standing over me like, "Get your ass up! We are going to work out right now." And man, you are a motivational person to work out with. That's he'd right, have yeah. me on the trip. He'd be standing next to the treadmill. I'd be on the treadmill, and he'd just be pressing the buttons. <laughs> and I'd just make it go I'm like, "What are you doing? Ah, I'm dying!" But very motiv- It was it was good. So you definitely had that drive yeah. in you, especially when you got pregnant. And uh, <laughs> she got pregnant. And then you went to the military. And is then and now go. Yeah, you can get you. it. I'm no. taking it. Yeah, it's get yours. It. Okay. So then you then you signed up for the army and go. Yeah. Tell us from there. What um, hold on. I can't multitask. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do one at a time. What you got in the cup? So I think there's something in this. Something's wrong with this Coca Cola. Uh, I don't know. Taste it. Is it not? Is it taste weird? I think Cullen's poisoned <laughs> the drinks. It's Doesn't a little it sweet. Weird? It's good though. It tastes like flat. Rocky's Maybe. drinking out of one of those mighty mugs where you can like it has a, a slight suction. So if like some kid walks by and just tries to whack it real hard, it it won't fall over. And it's cool because if you pull straight Slow, up, it's fine. Yeah, but if you try to push it, it it's got that. I like, feel like that would like cause like more magic. problems. If I, I was a kid, I'd be like, psh, psh. well, I tried yeah. it. I, I, I was like, let me test this as seen on TV thing out, and I whacked it one time and full, and it knocked over. Yeah, it yeah. didn't really work. Well. But, yeah, yeah there I, have I, been I, I figured that'd be more me. more trouble than it was worth. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like That's having to pull cool. it, it feels like your your counter's dirty. I'm gonna go reset the cameras, y'all. T- okay, so now know. go tell us after that. Um, so I, I went in in 2008. I was still married then, and uh, um, they, you know the the turning point for me was when. Ashton was born, and then you know we were in the middle of a recession, and yeah, it was hard to keep work and whatever else but like the most important thing is I, I wanted to be able to provide for yeah you know for my family definitely <clears throat> for Ashlyn and you know my wife at the time so I went in um I, I I was always interested in going in the military but uh I was never motivated enough to go right so lose the weight because it's hard yeah yeah to get in yeah so um I ended up going in 2008 um went to uh Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for basic training. Uh-huh. And while I was in, <laughs> while I was in there, um, I got held back in what they called the like the MEPS is kinda like orientation you go in for your shots and stuff, right? Okay. But they yeah. also give you like an eye exam, medical exam and all that. <laughs> uh oh. And I was blind in my but well, not blind, but I could definitely not see very well out of my right eye going into the military. Uh oh. But I was really like Devoted to wanting to go in, yeah. And so what I did was I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated just to get to basic training. So um, because I knew, you know, you cover up your left eye and your right eye, and I knew that I couldn't see out of my right eye already. See, so I memorized yeah. the, um, oh. the vision charts, but there's three different charts that you have to memorize because I didn't know which one they were going to give you. The one with the big E. There's one with numbers, and then one that has an E W three. Like they, it just switches around. Uh-huh. It's supposed to point which direction or something. I can't remember exactly. <clears throat> so once I got to Fort Leonard, Wood, Missouri, they gave me the eye exam, but it was different. This one you had to put your head in that binocular looking oh, thing, oh, no. right? Oh, so yeah. it automatically sees. Yeah, it could be a boat or a fish or a letter, <laughs> yeah, and it's like, what idea. do you what do you see? <laughs> I'm like, uh, turn it on. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you Are see? You I don't see anything. <laughs> like, uh, so they they were gonna, you know, they were gonna um, uh, kick me out. I guess you would say, but um, I stayed, you know, pretty motivated. And then every three days or every five days, a new cycle of soldiers would come in, going through the same process. And I pretty much knew the process at that point after a month of being there. Yeah. So I was kind of helping out with the new and processing um, soldiers coming through. And the commander of um, 
that unit kind of noticed, and she asked me what I wanted to do, and I told her that I definitely wanted to serve. So she wrote a, a letter, like a referral letter, yeah, or or letter recommendation for Let me to stay in. in. Yeah, and then I received a waiver to be able to stay in with, with oh, my wow. convention. Yeah, I so. didn't even know that. That's <laughs> something I've never heard before. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like one of those meant to th- meant to be. So yeah. if I'm going to come up on you, I need to come up on that side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, you <laughs> <laughs> so, I already did. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you went what three tours? Four? Two, two yeah. to Afghanistan. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, so in 2009. To 2010 and then 2010 to 2011. That's crazy. With the same unit out of Alaska, um, for, first 40th Cav. Yeah, out of Alaska. So it was the same people mm-hmm. at both times. Yeah, well, some That's of the that. you know some of the soldiers they like rotate out or they PCS to another um, okay. duty station. So, but, and you were a medic, right? Yeah, combat yeah. medic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I know you've had some stories and some crazy things happen over there. So I thank you for your service, yes, sir. Thank you. Definitely. Thank yes, you yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I was going to tell you, I, I actually still have, I saw it the other day, it sits out on my bookcase. I have from your, I think your first tour, you came back and you brought this little uh, hookah. Yeah, from Afghanistan. From Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. And it's so pretty, you know, the things from over there. It's just very, just like uh, antique most looking. Most of the stuff and, over know? there is handmade. Even yeah. if it's like low quality materials, it's still handmade, so it makes it real, you know, original. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I still have that. It's still sitting That's on my cool. bookcase. Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> when I see it, I think of you, you know. Yeah. So what was like a normal day in the life over there? Like, uh, I mean, I guess was it, it wasn't the same every day, obviously. No. But like, uh, did y'all have to get up at the same time or did y'all? No, like- when, you know, whenever you're deployed is a little bit different for the different MOSs. And like, you know, like the infantry guys that are over there, um, they don't have a set schedule. That's always, you know, they could go out on a week mission, two week mission, come back, you know, regroup, basically take a nap and then they're back out on another mission. Um, <clears throat> but then, you know, you have some MOSs where, um, or What's MOS, MOS is a job, yeah, a job, okay. and a military job. Okay, you yeah. have a job. <clears throat> so, you know, some of those, their job is to maintain, like, the cop or the fob that we're on, like, you know, the area that we're in. So, you know, you have some admin folks that stay behind. Right. Um, you have your headquarters that stay behind, just kind of make sure that the missions are going right, soldiers are being taken care of. Okay. Um, most of those are, like, leadership positions. And then you have some, like, your mechanics and your cooks and stuff that most of the, I mean, they're going missions too, but a lot of times they're back at the fob or the cop. Okay. So, Y'all's, like, home base. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So being that, like, you know, when you're deployed, it's a 24-7 job. So yeah. there's different shifts. You know, you have... When I say shifts, not like in the civilian world. I mean, you could work an eight-hour shift, and then... You're done till tomorrow. And you could be done till... Well, you won't be... There's other stuff to do, but you, you could be done till tomorrow, or you could be done with that eight hours, and then you have to cover another eight hours, depending on if, you know, your unit had to go on a mission, or, you yeah. know, if you're low in personnel, or whatever. So, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, so, that is insane. With, yeah. With me, I was, um, with being a medic, um, you know, we had to operate out of the A station most of the time. And there's different levels, I guess you would say, of medics. You have, you know, your, your line medics, and you have your A station medics, and then you have your hospitals. Mm-hmm. Um, and in my first deployment, I did a little bit of both, mainly run the aid station there. Mm-hmm. But then there was times where we had to go out on missions um, with the soldiers. So um, it was, I mean, it was pretty intense. And I, you know... Um, a lot of the medics that that deployed with me, they were pretty much they were top notch guys. Like um, every single one of them, um, yeah. And they, you know, they're they're responsible for everybody in their squad. You know, it could mm-hmm. be you know five people, ten people. It could be a whole platoon, depending on <clears throat> what the mission entails. And you know, it's you have to build a certain amount of. A, a different type of trust when you're deployed, right? Um, mm-hmm. With your soldiers, as your you know. brothers, then right? Yeah. yeah, that's why y'all all have such a camaraderie and yeah. like y'all are all so close yeah. when you get back. And yeah, yeah that's awesome that yeah. when you went the second time, you got to go with the same. I got to go a with a lot of the same people. people. Yeah. So, and we went to the same um, the same area. <clears throat> so um, I, I pretty much knew the area pretty well, and then um, you know we had some new, new medics come in. Um, so we did a lot of training and that such thing. Um, I was about to ask, like, you, did you have to have any type of like uh, background as far as in knowing how to uh, 
you know, do a, what do you do when you take off your shirt and rip it? What's that called? <laughs> Turnic. Turnic. Yeah. 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 And like, do they teach you all that? Yeah. Like- so when I, so, you know, medic school is in um, San Antonio, Texas, and um, they teach you all of that. Like, you know, they teach you all the EMT stuff, but then they also teach you like advanced stuff, um, life-saving um, training. So, you know, they teach you how to do um, a, a tourniquet, like a cat tourniquet is, um, and then they teach you how to do like improvised tourniquets in case you run out, like how you know make it out of a shirt or a belt or a gun right. sling or you know sticks and stuff. See, I yeah, cannot just, do that. Like, yeah. I, if anybody starts bleeding and a tourniquet is needed, I'm passed <laughs> out or I'm like calling for help, going somewhere else because I just can't handle the blood. I just can't imagine. Oh my gosh! Well, just after, trying to, but after you go through the training, you know, after you go through the training, um, it becomes you know it becomes a job, and that's you know that's one thing that I did do. I, I feel that I did well going in um, into the medic and going in at an older age. Is that any time that I had a patient that I had to take care of, I just focus on on um, on the job, like the you know sustaining the life, right. and not trying to focus on who it was that was on the table because well, it okay. could become you know, a distraction. Right, you know? and then you're emotional and whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's crazy, uh, man. I, so you've seen some shit. Yeah, yeah. shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I could cut. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, how yeah. long? How long total were you in the military? In that shit. <laughs> how long were you in that shit? Um, I did. <laughs> I did. I did eight years, and I was gonna make wow. it. A career but uh-huh. i was um medically retired um out of the army so okay. um, they were done with you huh yeah they were done they so were it's like, true. Um, like if it's like four is gone well he got shot in the butt so he gotta go home yeah exactly <laughs> but i didn't get shot in the butt yeah well, no, that's what when you mentioned forrest gump i was yeah. like i i'm just like god i don't know if i have the balls to do any of that like you you see them like pick up the wounded soldiers and run through the full yeah. fields with their <laughs> over the shoulder and you know bullets <laughs> flying by and I'm like, is I'm trying to picture like what I'm trying to what, picture where? you ever do with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Go be like, oh shit. Ah. <laughs> Maybe take a selfies. You would seriously though, like you know the Pearl Harbor and stuff, you would seriously be like the guy with the video camera, like the wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. That's an actual job. Like there's really? yeah, there's combat photographers. Wow. Yeah. 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 That was hey, Colin, yeah, you so. missed your yeah, you missed your call, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's kinda yeah. old now. Uh, I don't know. He's oh I can talk to my people. Uh, he, yeah, he got some connections yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to take my baby out. So, yeah, so oh, after, after eight years, October 2015, um, I was medically medically retired. So okay. that is and then incredible. what? Now you're here, you're at... You're and you're about to have a baby, a little girl. Yeah. Are you excited about this? Trying I, to do something, yeah, but you I can't because they're am. spit up on you now. I am. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, so cute. Oh look my goodness. Yes, Here's Rocky's co-host. gonna have a little girl too. Her. His facial expression. I was at his she gender looks, reveal. She's like her daddy. <laughs> yes, she did. I was oh. at his gender reveal party, and his expression when they found out it was a girl was the same as mine. I think he was like, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's not because I don't love you, because I do. I'm so happy. I had you but you just weren't expecting but yeah girls i just remember me at 15 yeah as a girl yeah. and my mom which oh my god what if can she we meets just, a, a rocky can we like, just talk ro- about how your daughter is uh is 16 now and she is not at all like we were no <laughs> she's like so good compared compared to you you dodged a bullet yeah. on that one you did she good. yeah she's both of my kids Kids. I, you know, yeah. little, little Rocky too. He's a great. Oh, that's just Booger's tail like, whacking the microphone. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I feel like Rocky Junior is going to give you a little more trouble than he's Ashlyn a boy. Did. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but and then Ashlyn, Ashlyn, boy. Ashlyn grew up in the you know in the military mm-hmm. lifestyle where my son he was in it for a couple of years, but then he was young. Yeah, too, yeah. You know, even going in school, like the schools are a lot more structured in the military. Um, than they're on the civilian world. So, oh right, yeah. so Ashley kind of got that. Yeah, yeah. It's a huge. I mean, it's it literally is like night and day between the two of them. I mean, Rocky's a good kid too, but watching him growing up, being raised in the civilian world versus the military mm-hmm. world, it's completely, completely different. So God sometimes way. I just want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like old it. enough yet. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, yeah. hey yeah. though, they are old enough to like do the dishes and, and shit. And you know shit, what I mean? yeah. Like, I can't wait yeah. till that. Which they do. Like fine. Ashlyn, you know, my daughter, she she's been she learned how to cook when she was like seven years old. Like, 
you know, she's been, you know, cleaning and cooking. Put her she to does work. all yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, being independent is you know, it's kinda it's my thing. whole goal. Yeah. Like yeah. right now, like recently she just got a a letter, like a like a offer to go to some big medical school. She's sixteen, she's a freshman and sophomore. And she got some letter in the mail Dang, to go to sophomore. Yeah, to go to some college, um, a medical institution. Really? And she was picked out of like I don't know how many people or whatever. I think I saw that yeah. on Facebook. It was like a plaque or something. Yeah, yeah that's and, awesome. You know, and she'll you know, she'll receive um college credits for going, but it, you know, it's not something that they just I never receive anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no, yeah. they were trying to keep so, you yeah, out of their school. Like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's crazy. Was well, so do you have any um kind of talking back, back about everything do you have any um I, I think this was you or did i make it up like a story like any did you have any type of ptsd or like um i remember you telling me a story i think hanging out one night about how you, um there was like a mom a mind that blew up driving or a pothole or something or anytime you see you a were. pothole now you think about like that could possibly be a mind about to blow yeah, up and that's like, that's part of the reason why i got um Retired out of the military because of my PTSD. Oh gosh! And um, I, you know they diagnosed me with PTSD. I try to tell them it's just because I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> but, I don't do this shit. Man. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> they don't know me. <laughs> you know? But uh, um, yeah, you know, like whenever you, like, I didn't encounter like a lot of like IDs or anything like that. There was a lot of what they call indirect fires, like um, mortars and. RPG rounds and stuff going over where mm. we were staying, but um, but I did you know we did go out on mission. And the thing is, is like you're always the best way I could describe it is like you're always on edge, like you're always um, you like preparing know. for the worst. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it blows my mind that there's even people in this world that are sitting there with these weapons ready to hurt. People right, with right. Them. Like yeah. just the fact that like there's people that are out there with yeah. a with a. Something yeah. to blow you up with. Yeah. I mean, an RPG. Like what? Yeah, People but like, have Im- those? but like, imagine like you've been to a haunted house before, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like ima- always, yeah, yeah. But imagine being in a haunted house. Like you know, their the job of the haunted house is to scare you. So you're anticipating being scared. You just don't know when it's coming. Yeah. yeah. Imagine having that feeling for like an entire year straight, right. day and in night. In real life, you know? yeah. Like, yeah. Your real your yeah. life is on the line. But the thing, yeah. But yeah. the thing is that people are actually trying to kill you, not just scare you. You yeah. know. Yeah. So, God, that's so um, crazy to me. So it's it's pretty intense, and then you come back and it's you know it's almost like it, you've been like reprogrammed you know yeah so whenever you come back you're still kind of um you know feeling that that anxiety from from it all and then um depending on the situation you know there's certain burdens that you know you'll have to live with you know for the rest of your life yeah so. Um, well, you do a lot of work. a lot of the depression and stuff, too. So. Right. Yeah, yeah. You do now, like, now that you're here and you're retired from the military, you actually do a lot of, uh, like, charity stuff for yeah. the vets, right? Yeah. So, like, your military, your motorcycle club yeah. is Army. Yeah. Motorcycle, you know, you're involved or whatever yeah. with that. Cause I, so, I got out in 2015, and whenever I came back, like, since I was medically retired, I was, like, you know, I was a little bit younger and you know my kids were pretty much set and all they had to do was go to school and I was collecting a check Mm -hmm. you know so I just you know I thought I was just gonna chill like you know I'm how old was I'm uh 35 I was 35 and pretty much retired you know like who could say that you know right so I took some some time off from school and work and everything else and I was just gonna have a good great time you know but I come back and it's you know Again, it's a civilian world, so it's, you know, it's hard to reintegrate with people, even with right. you guys, you know. Um, a lot of the friends that I had, they're in jail, or a few of them are passed away, or yeah. Yeah. they got their own families and stuff, or they've moved away. So, you know, you find yourself, like, starting a whole new life all over again, Yeah, you know. And, um, <clears throat> and it made my depression... Um, a lot worse right so you know since 2015 there's there you know to be completely honest there's been a couple of times where I've um, contemplated committing suicide oh, wow. um, man, don't do that mainly well I won't <laughs> <laughs> thank Not you going, dude. you saved yeah. me <laughs> so, <laughs> don't do that <laughs> yeah. you know uh, I, I laugh about it no, um, no it's no, not yeah, a laughing yeah. it, you know it's, it's not a laughing matter but it out I, loud yeah. yeah because you know that's that's the biggest <clears throat> uh, you know I think and you know according to some research research you know most of the time the biggest problem with 
um, veterans and veteran suicide when it comes to PTSD, anxiety, depression, and such, is that we've been programmed to just kind of suck it up. When something bad is happening in your life, you mm-hmm. just keep driving through, right. and we don't ask for help. You know, yeah. So we come out, and we expect for people to know what we're going through because we're used to that you know with our bad buddies if i'm going through it you're going through it too right. but then we come out on a civilian sector and it's like you know <clears throat> i don't know people, what it's like people yeah. complain about their 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 french fries at mcdonald's being cold yeah, you know right um there's a lot more serious issues in the world that we have to deal with on a daily basis so it's hard for me to connect with you and say um hey you know i'm i'm having a rough day because of this and you're like, yeah, my morning's bad too because my coffee was cold. Right. Well, it's, you know, it's petty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can know? imagine coming back from being over there and all. It's just so serious all the time. Yeah. I, mean, I know y'all like y'all joke around yeah, we, and have fun with we each do other have, and stuff like that. Yeah. And try to make the best of it, but yeah. it is like you said, always on pins and needles. And then exactly. to come back here, and then does that feeling like follow you? The like all you're the still kind of jumpy. And, all, yeah, all the time. Yeah, and so then you got people that are petty. Yeah, everybody else. Everything seems yeah. petty. I imagine yeah. it would for me. So, too, yeah. so after that, you know, after after coming back, and I went through that time frame where I thought I was just going to be, you know, living the living the life, being retired. Um, you know, I, I sunk into a really bad depression and <clears throat> went through a couple of relationships oh. issues, mm-hmm. um, which I can't blame the PTSD for. But it's really hard. Again, it's hard to connect with people whenever you're going through, you know, anxiety or that PTSD, and depression yeah. and stuff, because it is life changing for you with something that you don't want to deal with. It's not something that it's not inside of me. I know that this is not the person that I used to be. Right. But um, <clears throat> I can't do anything about it. You yeah. know, um, all you could do is, you know, try to try to learn what it is and try to um tweak it it's not something that ever goes away you know depression is never going to go away right um, the anxiety is not going to go away the ptsd the nightmares the the thoughts you know yeah right none of that ever goes away all you can do is try to make it better and try to be as normal as you possibly can right um <clears throat> and the best way to do that is always you know to ask for help or try to connect with somebody right. on that same level right definitely so um so, you know, I got involved with some organizations um, that do help veterans. Um, some of the bigger ones, like the American Legion, um, the VFW Veterans of Fair, Foreign Warfare, um, the DAV. And, you know, a lot of a lot of those, they, you know, you, you walk in, and as soon as you walk in the room, you're in a room full of people that experienced a lot of the stuff that you did. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And it's really cool, too, because some of them, they do have some um, older members, like older veterans, uh-huh. you know? Um, but... It's, it's kind of like humbling to know like whatever it is that I went through it's nothing compared to the you know World War II veteran that I'm right. sitting next to yeah. Yeah. you know or that Vietnam veteran that I'm sitting next to you yeah. know because um, you know they're 40, 50 years older than me or whatever the case might be and it's like you know they went through this when they were younger than I am now right. and they're still here you know so oh, yeah. uh, how, how you know how selfish would it be uh, I say selfish but you know what would be the point of me giving up if they, you know, if they went through it a lot worse right. than I did and they're And back and they're then they didn't have it. all the resources like <laughs> exactly. y'all have now. Yeah, where exactly. people didn't, uh, I mean, there wasn't even cell phones or, you know what right. I mean? Like right. they didn't have all the uh, ways to connect and to reach yeah. out for help yeah. and things like that yeah. that y'all do. So, But I do, uh, you know, let me, I want to touch on that because I, I use the word selfish. You know, a lot of people... They, you know, they think that um, that suicide is a, you know, a call for help or not a call for help, but a, a call for attention, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. But it's not, you know, and I thought the same thing, too, before I started going through the stuff that feeling I go it. through. But, you know, a lot of time it's, it's literally feeling like that's, I mean, that's it. Like, that's the end of the, the line for you. Mm-hmm. Like, you really, at some point or another, you really feel that everybody in your life would be better off without you. Right. You know, it's like you're trying to take away everybody else's pain. It's not so much about your pain, it's the pain that you're causing people. Right. You know, and that's, I mean, that's my that's experience That's an interesting with it. way to look at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Cause it's hard to explain that. Like, I mean, I've, I've never been that deep. And I'm sitting here kind of like you were with the World War II veterans, like comparing. I went through like when after the late great Howard passed away, mm-hmm. and um, and just the, our mar- my marriage was kind of just off and on, and then like getting the, the the house rent now, you know, just lots of different having the kids, and I ended up falling into some type of depression, you know. But I'm sitting here comparing that, and I'm like, I didn't have depression, 
you know, I'm just compared to what you were talking about. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's you know when you get it's to that still point, what you yeah, go yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, like just because the the war vet next to you went through it a little harder than yeah. you doesn't mean you're not going through your yeah, yeah. stuff and doesn't you know you still can validate. Yeah. But, but the feeling, I mean, it's it's all the same for everybody. Like, every, you know, we ex- military experience is a whole different. I could sit here and tell you stories. I could draw you pictures. You could watch as many movies as you want, and you'll never understand what it was like being over there. Even yeah. for the even for the ones that never experienced like, you know, combat, um, but that did deploy, it's still a whole different experience than being home. You know, right, everything yeah. is different. Eating food there is different than sitting home and eating food. Right, you know, You're sleeping like is different. Hall. Taking showers is different. Everything is completely different. And, yeah. The smells, the taste, the you know everything. Everything yeah. is completely different. Culture so. shock, and I imagine yeah. over there it's like so y'all are like in the sand and stuff too. Yeah, right? so well, was, yeah, and um, and the parts of Afghanistan where I was at, it was mainly like mountains and stuff. You know, yeah. not a whole lot of vegetation, but there was some. That's crazy. Yeah. And that was back when it was like the Afghanistan. I mean, that was like what, when it uh, hit. that was like when it was getting bad, wasn't it? We were kind that, of in the middle of it. Right, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Because I'm like, again, I'm sitting here comparing myself. I'm like, sometimes I'll just walk out of the house and leave the door unlocked. Yeah. But I mean, I imagine for you, it's like you got to make sure you know you're you're checking all your tracks and yeah. looking over your shoulder. Three, yeah. All three, the time. Three or four times a night, I'll wake up like. <clears throat> um, I'll, you know, whenever it's time for bed, I always go give the kids a kid, you know, a, a kiss, kiss goodnight night or yeah, whatever. Um, and then I'll go and lay in the bed like, ah, oh, it's time for me to relax. But as soon as I hit the bed, I'm like, did I lock the front door? Mm-hmm. And I'll get up and I'll go lock it. And I'll lay down. And I'm like, I know I locked the back door. You know what? Shit. Let me go get up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me go check the back door and see if I locked it. Yeah. So I'll go lock the back door and it's like. That I close all the blinds, so I'll get up and I'll check the blinds. Yeah, and then I'm that like, paranoia. Yeah, it's like that yeah. I open that window early, let me make sure that window's locked. And every time, it's not like I do it all at the same time. It's like, okay, I'm done. I'll go lay down, and it's like, wait a second, did I lock the top and the bottom lock at the front <laughs> door? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it's like that, you know, it's, it's like that um, all night long. And then, you know, there and there's times where I'll forget, you know, I'll come home, and if I've left the front door unlocked or something, I'll come home and I'll like you know search it. I'll search like, the entire house oh, really? you know on their beds and and not so much for me because like you know it's whatever you know but I'll be damned if somebody tries to hurt my kids or right. my family you yeah. know so you know I'll check on the beds and in the closet and behind the shower curtains and you yeah. know now I have an okay, attic, so every man. every once in a while, you know, <laughs> I left the garage door open, so I have to go in the attic and see. A, and you, you were know, never uh, like that before. So, no, nah, nah, yeah, I know you nah. were never. No, nah, like I used to leave my door open. Yeah, right? I come home, at, you know, yeah, seven o'clock on Friday night, and there. I have twenty people there <laughs> already <laughs> drinking and having a good time. That's what I'm I'd like. I'm sitting here thinking back to like how the times yeah. have changed. Like you literally yeah. were, you were an open door. No, I used to I used to leave my keys in my car. Like I'll go to Walmart and just leave the car running and go inside or whatever. You know, if he knew that I was giving school to come to his house he would lock the doors in yeah. <laughs> it's like the only time the You're door was locked my house. <laughs> you didn't want me showing up at yeah. seven o'clock in the morning waking you yeah. i mean there was no question anytime i was like where am i gonna go i'm my phone i'm grounded from my phone i couldn't even call him but yeah. i would just i knew rocky's either door would be open or i could or he would be there and he'd Safety, be like, yeah he'd be like come on in let's yeah. just let's talk and yeah. there was times where i was going through like girlfriend breakups and like stuff like that yeah. i think well, after like a city stages one time or something and sure enough rocky was there and we just sat there and <laughs> And just talking it up, yeah. like trying to figure it all out, yeah. and then, like always open. But yeah, here you talk about how you just have to triple check everything now. Yeah. It's like crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm glad that you got that you found support though, and that those thoughts and stuff are hopefully forever behind you. And They're not. <laughs> uh, well, I They're not. I imagine they wouldn't. Yeah, be, like, it, it's, no, it's e- it's easier to manage, and especially like um, w- you know, with my brothers now w- in the MC. It's like, you know, they all, um, 90% of them, I would have to say, experience the same thing. Yeah. Um, but a, a, a 100% of them have, they know about the lifestyle, you know? Yeah. So it's easier to talk with them. Um, we do a lot of rides and stuff together. We'll go yeah. and have a couple of beers or eat some chicken wings at Hooters or whatever. Right, yeah. Y'all are and rowdy, bud. Yeah. yeah, don't play it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a great out. time. We're, you know, but then we we'll also do like a lot of charity events. Yeah. And raise money to help out other veterans and yeah, stuff too. Yeah, I know. So. You were doing, you just did one of those uh, the other day and got Corey to help you. Yeah. Some oh, wow. Yeah. For yeah. Like we a, did a Mardi yeah. Gras. For yeah. like a vet, what is it, a, a vet auction? Uh, yeah. Y'all hosted it. Yeah, a fun, yeah, 
have fundraisers. We do like raffles, and then um, we auction off the cornhole um, yeah. boards and stuff. Well, it's got to yeah. definitely like put a sense of purpose back in your life for for what you it went does. through over there. Yeah, and then to help other people that are going through the same shit. It it's kind of like the AA stuff. You yeah, know? Mm-hmm. Like, it does. But mm-hmm. then again, that's like it's also a problem because like, and I see it with a lot of my friends that um, that deployed is that they'll find something to to keep their mind occupied from everything else that they experience. Uh-huh. Um, but then they, you know, they put a hundred percent into that too. Cause that's yeah. just the way that we're programmed. And then like that becomes the main focus. And then we forget about everything else that's surrounding us all over again. You know, does she yeah. just, she just shat. shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Oh gosh. That is that her? Yeah. I thought it was Booger. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought I thought it was him first. too. I'm like, sorry. Booger. I'm Ugh. so sorry. Jeez. Shit on the See, couch. I'm so sorry. I'll, well, I'll get that you was... cleaned up in just a minute, baby. Don't oh, worry. Yeah. Okay. I think you might still be shit. I'll just let, oh, I'll let yeah. you finish. Just let her. Just let her. <laughs> they can't smell it. <laughs> so, I'll let whatever. You it's like when you think your own <laughs> farts yeah. smell good. <laughs> yeah. She smiles every time she poos. Yeah. Afterwards, she's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, clean me yeah. up. Yeah. Well, um, so <laughs> I guess, uh, do you have any, like, I would say, um, I'm trying to compare it again, but like, <laughs> Going through what I went through and then coming out on the other side the way I did, and especially with your situation, I, I mean, would you say you have any regrets doing what you did to be where you are now mentally, or yeah. is it like yeah. just part of? You know, no, the only part, yeah, the only yeah. thing, yeah, the only thing I like, I, I truly regret is not being able to make the military a career. If you were to ask me, um, I feel that everybody should do a minimum tour um in the military a a year two years or whatever yeah because then you know that's the only way that personally that's the only way that i feel that people will really um appreciate life um here especially in in the united states um compared yeah yeah, compared to the rest of the world like um and you know when i say that um but Things could, life could always be better, mm-hmm. but it could be a lot worse. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I, you know, the in Afghanistan, you know, there's there's good guys and bad guys, and I remember, you know, just even giving a, a pen or a pencil to a little kid, like that was it. Like that kid was, he was the yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> like all the other kids, were like oh, Johnny got a pen. You yeah, know? Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know, and and for the rest of. You know the time as long as he could write. Um, you know he was like he was a king of the jungle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Here, like you know, it's hard enough trying to get my son I don't to take like a that pen color to school. Pencil. Yeah. 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 It's like, where's your pens? I just got you a pen. You, know? <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't appreciate pen. this. Yeah. It's not my. That. It's not my color blue. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like blue. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're spoiled, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would say uh, the whole U.S. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, we're all spoiled. Just like, yeah. even little, if, yeah. the traveling yeah. that I did, and I was like, I mean, I was like, I remember I was in. Thailand and there was this Indian guy with us like we met him on the boat and he was partying with us well the whole time my money was worth like 27 bots yeah. was yeah. one dollar yeah. so 27 of their dollars was one of mine yeah and so i'm like making it rain you know i'm like i'm king of the jungle yeah. <laughs> so yeah. and then the whole time there's this guy that's with us that's partying with it and he's like really careful like he's just really careful about his money and yeah. everything and i found out that their money was worth less yeah. than the time they money. Exactly. and i was like and i felt like an asshole you know because yeah. i'm over here like woo, what you want you know yeah. like yeah. <laughs> shots for everyone but it may it does make you like uh, to pay for toilet paper. Yeah, you get one sheet for a dollar. You know, what yeah. I mean? like you have to pay for toilet because they're trying to get anything they can. Just because that's I don't know. It's just a different culture. Yeah, it the is a whole different, different culture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it goes. I mean, it's just so many different. That you is know. so interesting. I can't imagine. Like, what it's like I, I love doing these doesn't. podcasts because I always learn something about <laughs> like that. Just I'm, my brain's like completely thinking a whole different way, and yeah. it's so interesting how it's all come full circle. Because yeah. like you used to be so helpful for us party going teenagers <laughs> that wanted to have a place to go yeah. party then you went or and had crash. This, this crazy experience and then came back and, and now you're helping well, <laughs> yeah and well even on the crazy you were a medic like you yeah. were helping then and like yeah. you just love to help yeah and like yeah you're helping make this podcast I would, you better. know thank you <laughs> <laughs> something sexy <laughs> so, somebody needed help so I'm this. gonna tell you something like okay um, I was in 8th grade at Gresham Middle School and you know whenever you're in middle school you always have you know somebody that comes and speaks to the school or whatever or, you know, somebody yeah. that went through mm-hmm. an experience yeah. or, you know, or some kind of official or whatever trying to make right. the school dare. experience better. You know, yeah, so, yeah something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? 
And um, that was a guy that came in to the school, and this was, you know, I was in eighth grade. This was, I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, however old I was, mm-hmm. and 25 years ago, let's say. And um, and the guy, I remember he was up on the stage, and he was talking or whatever, and then it was time to ask questions. And I can't remember exactly what he was talking about other than, um, <clears throat> other than you know, basically kids need to, you know, respect the teachers. You yeah. know, and that was the whole focus. And I'm in middle school now, and I have a middle, you know, I have a, a, a high schooler now. But you know, anybody ask questions, whatever. And if you knew me then, like I was always like, I was always the funny one in school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, charismatic, yeah, charismatic. Yeah. I guess you would say. Yeah, he had all the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> the ladies, man. You remember ladies that? Like them, yeah, yeah, I went through that. At the skate park. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, I, I raised my hand and I, and I asked the guy, I was like, you know, the thing is, because he was relating a lot of the stuff of, of my generation in middle school to when he was younger and going through school, mm-hmm. you know, and I raised my hand and I said, you know, but the difference is nowadays, if you were to, because you know what, you watch TV and stuff and all mm-hmm. the happy movies, you know, the students are walking in and they give the teacher an apple or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but a lot of stuff that, a lot of that really happened in real life too, you know, like that was just a relationship between teachers and, and, right. and kids. And, uh, and I, I remember raising my hand and I told him, I said, you know, the difference is that nowadays, if you were to give a, an apple to a teacher, she'll send you to the principal's office yeah, because check it for anthrax. Yeah, because yeah. You, yeah. you're trying to poison them or, yeah. you know, you're trying to make a joke or whatever the case might be. Um, it's more dis- disciplinary now, is, yeah. if that's yeah. the word. Yeah, it's not. Okay. And this was, yeah. And that was 25 years ago, you know. Yeah. But I remember whenever we left the auditorium. I went into my math class and Ms. Cummings was my math teacher then and she says um, she, she, she stopped me at the door and she says you know I don't know exactly what you plan on doing with your life he goes and she goes um, but you're going to impact a lot of people's lives yeah. as long as you keep thinking the way that you're thinking and I remember that like if it was it's crazy you yesterday yeah. you know yeah, yeah. That's and that's why you because I don't remember yeah. yeah I don't I don't you know me I don't, I don't remember, remember people either. everybody's yeah. hey to me you know yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, Rocky I'm like hey <laughs> you <laughs> you know uh, but you know but I remember that and then you know Colin was saying like thinking back like I I think every ever since that day that was kind of like the pivotal point for me mm-hmm. like ever since then like I've always been a giver like I've always I've always felt in my heart like my whole purpose here is to help other, other people. people even yeah. when I don't have it to give like I've always been there for yeah. you know, that extra yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I'm not trying to pat myself and on I the can, back I'm no, just saying I like no, yeah. yeah. I've seen you, it you've done yeah, it for I've seen me, it first you know? too yeah. it's just crazy that's why we love you <laughs> 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 that's shit love you. <laughs> All right, li- now listen okay before we wrap things up I have to ask is that it we're done well, we get, we're almost an hour yeah. Yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool <laughs> it gets, it gets <laughs> shit, we do need you on let's do a second yeah we need you on here double D Tuesdays or whatever let's do another one yeah. <laughs> Let's do another one of these. All right, but you know that you're not getting out of here without telling us your best don't tell mom story. Oh, man. And I know your mom is. She's scary. There's okay. so the many. scary Puerto Rican. She, like, so, she would, so does this have to be a story that she doesn't know or a story that she now knows but she matter. wasn't? So Okay, good. So, because <laughs> I've got one. All right, so I was living in South Carolina, and I was, you know, 10 or 11 years old. And, I had, you know, my brother's a year older than me, and I have my cousin Ralphie there and a couple of other cousins. And we lived in South in, in, in Blair in this house. It was a two, two-story house. I'm getting excited about yeah. this story. <laughs> it, was a, it was a two-story house, right? And um, so, anyways, this was my aunt's house, and we went over there to spend the night. Some kind of family gathering or another, right? So before we went to bed, we had already made a plan to sneak out the window. Oh, yeah. Me, my two cousins, and my brother, okay. right? Because Ooh. down the road, about a half a mile, there was these girls that live over there, and her friend was over there, too. So it was like Tina, Heidi. Oh, here I'm not going to say their last name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say their last name, but Tina, Heidi, and then um, this other girl that was over there visiting, and I was friends with them, you know? So we're like, oh, man, you know, whenever everybody goes to sleep, we're going to... Oh, oh, sorry. When she everybody goes to sleep, we're gonna come back, you know. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, we had already. So we propped the ladder up outside the house, right? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Um, which which fell in the back of the house oh, on no. my cousin's window, right? And we had. A, I mean, we were planning. It was we were good to go. Like we pretended like we were asleep when the parents came and checked on us, you know. <laughs> and it's like okay, you already knew they doors were are closed. Check on yeah, you. and the thing is that they think they know us. Like we knew them. Like yeah. we know when they're going to sleep, you know. <laughs> so we're like, all right, they checked the door. 
about 30 minutes, we're good to go, yeah. you know? So sure enough, like, all the lights are off in the house. That and, was uh, the worst, too, right, in those 30 minutes. It's yeah, like you're it laying long, there forever. Yeah. It's like, oh, so, come on. So, you know, <laughs> once once we were in the clear to go, um, I went down the ladder first, and then my two cousins and my brother was supposed to come with us, uh-huh. and he's like, oh, y'all go ahead. I'll be down there in a minute, right? That's something he would do. I'm not too. done yet. Yeah. Oh, so no. <laughs> I hope he's watching this. <laughs> so we get down the ladder, right? And then we take off through the woods. I mean, and it was like a half a mile. Like out here in the country, it was our house. Then there was one more house that they used for like hunters and stuff. And then it was the uh, the, the girls. girls. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the girls' house down here, you know. Uh. So we're, you know, what it felt like it was 30 miles. We went through the woods. <laughs> And we're running, you know, trying to get over there. And we just got to their house. Like, you could hear the dogs barking because in the country, everybody has dogs, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so we knock on the window, and the light comes on. And this is, I think it was Tina's um, window. We knock on the window, and the light comes on. And she was had just started to open it up. And we're, like, the window's there, and we're, like, right here in the, uh, in the wood line, you know, uh-huh. just waiting, like, for the clear for them to come out or whatever. <laughs> All of a sudden... Because it's the country, there's no street lights or nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. We see like little lights coming down the road, oh, going up and down, yeah. you know, right? <laughs> shit. They can only, yeah, shit, right? <laughs> they can only be one person and one person only, and that was like our people, you know, yeah. coming to get us. Oh. And all of a sudden, you you know, there's there's gravel road and stuff, and then you hear the tires hit the gravel road. Shit, no, nah, we, <laughs> <laughs> we took off running right back through the woods. I mean, yeah. it felt, I mean, we were running like yeah. I was, yeah, and I was a little. Ch- thing too you know I was like I was, sweat, but, yeah, yeah I yeah. mean but I, I I outran my cousins you know so I was like we were trucking and then you we get scared. there you were more scared yeah my mom you fear. know my mom yeah she yeah. Know, yeah huh? so <laughs> we get back to the um we get back to my aunt's house and we go to the back of the house gets what's not there what the ladder the ladder oh, the ladder is gone got you. <laughs> <laughs> they got so the good. ladder's gone, so we run to the front of the house, and the front door is locked. Oh, we are no. not getting in this house. Oh, Guess no. who is in the house, though? Your brother. My brother. Oh, that asshole. <laughs> Narc. <laughs> <laughs> she <is. laughs> He narked us That's out. What you get. Then, yeah, he narked us out. Now he's sitting inside the house, and we're just waiting and for because like, we're all Puerto Rican, you know. So every my aunts and my mom, they're all gonna get out with their chanclas, you know, like they're ready to. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're ready to whoop us, you know. <laughs> and um, so that's exactly what they did. They uh, <laughs> they they took so turns. That's exactly. What yeah, they did. and it wasn't just like my mom whooped me and my cousin's mom whooped him, and then the other one whooped the other. No, like no. they took turns. Like you All know, of them my mom's you. like, you know, oh, why would you do this to me? Ch-ch-ch. You know, oh they never gosh. say this is gonna hurt me worse than you. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, yeah. Not, not my mom. No, <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna make sure this hurts you worse. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then she's done, and it's like they're, they're like literally taking turns, like now. And they rotate through, and then here comes my aunt. You know, why would you do this to your mom? Oh, no. You know, it's like next, and then here comes my aunt. Like, why would you do this to your aunt and your mom? Yeah. You know? It's like, yeah, yeah. And then we were, we were, <laughs> <laughs> we were mad at my brother for like the longest. It's still mad about it. Yeah. Like, it sounds like he was still salty. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right there, guys. I'll yeah, be right there. exactly. He's probably the one that pulled he, the ladder. I'm sure out. he, yeah, he probably got rid of that ladder because it was not out. It was a David. On long, you. Yeah, shame on you. <laughs> it was one of those big ladders, you know, so I don't know where it went. But I wonder if he was like pulling the ladder up and that's what made the noise. Like, you know, he No, was, don't try to cover for him. No, no, no. no, no he no, no, he no, got two scoops yeah, of ice cream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he went and popped some popcorn and waited for the show to start. Like, ah, yeah, y'all about to get your ass <laughs> You know? Uh, so. that's, that's our Annie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's sounds a whole like other a, podcast. That's an Annie story. Yeah, we I want to be here for that Annie. one, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll have an Annie yeah. show. No, she won't be here. We'll just talk about her. We'll talk about her. Yeah, I'm down for that. And he about any too, yeah. Well, that is an excellent "Don't Tell Mom" story. Yeah. You know, not everybody can come up with one. People are too scared. But, yeah. you know, I've got I've got many more. So if you, <laughs> if you ever episode. need another episode, yeah, you, need some you know, it's like oh, you need some. Yeah, if you need some materials, <laughs> like man, what are we gonna do? 
Just call me up. I don't even have to come in. We can do it over the phone. Yeah. <laughs> just put me on speaker. Whatever, yeah. I love it. Facebook me or I'll be like, hey. <laughs> uh, I so, love well, it. I appreciate you coming on and uh I'm I'm glad you, you made the switch in your in your head to s- stick around with yeah. us longer in in this life and yeah and make it make the whole world a better place. So um, yeah, that's that's a wrap, I think, on this episode of the Don't Tell Mom podcast. Yeah, Thanks, sh- Rocky. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's some shit. Yeah, right. Shit. A lot of shit in there. We smell it. You gotta you change so. the diaper. I don't know. Sometimes she poops like a man, like a grown man. She yeah. Poops. She, well, she does that a lot. But yeah. sometimes I'm like, I don't know if it's... Yeah, you yeah. just wait. You yeah. just wait. Can You're, I say... I wanna, can I say something yeah, serious? Yeah, yeah. But then you say something funny after that, so we don't end on a serious <laughs> note. Yeah, yeah. I hate ending shit on a serious <laughs> note, you know? Um, but, you know, after I talked about my experience and stuff, and I know that all three of us here have been through some shit. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, all I'm going to... What I like to say is, you know, to, to your audience is, you know, life is going to get rough. Um, the most important thing I could tell you is don't give up. Find somebody to help you. And if you reach out for somebody and it's not the help you want, find somebody else until you get keep the help. Keep reaching. Yeah, yeah, keep reaching out until you get the help. Um, Definitely. I don't. I don't think there's need. anything else to say after that. Like yeah. that. That is, that is a yeah. perfect en- ending note. There's no nothing funny that needs to be said. That is you the truth. Yeah. You hear so, that? So reach out. There's there's plenty yeah. of resources out there, and um, you know, there's uh, everything Great in advice. life is everything in life is is, is temporary. Like yeah. you know, if you're going through something bad, is is only going to last so long. If you're going yeah. through something good, is only going to last so long. But there's always going to be more good moments in your life right. coming around the corner. So and y'all yeah. stop bitching about the cold coffee at McDonald's. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. a lot worse out yeah. there. Yeah, there Thank you but so But they better much. get my order right. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, thank y'all. We thank will see y'all so next time watching. on the Don't Tell Mom podcast. Be sure to subscribe, favorite, and listen on all your favorite yeah. listening apps. Hey, so. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Guys. Yeah, thank you. We love you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That'll do it. Don't tell mom. Peace. Peace. Peace.